So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. Here I am with the complete analysis about the 25th January first SIFT exam. I have got lots of feedback from the students. So the paper is similar to the previous day that is first and second SIFT of 24th January because there was easy part in physics also and chemistry obviously easy but there was some tricky question from chemistry. So overall paper difficulty was easy to moderate but let me clear first this is the first attempt and it is happened suddenly. So it is not like you will be getting 99 percentile uh, on above 200 marks or 220 marks it's not like that because you you all are having less preparation means you are not having 100 percent syllabus covered so that's why it will have a effect on marks versus percentile because it totally depends on the type of a student who appeared in the examination if all the student are having good preparation they all will get good result and obviously the percentile uh, will be requiring more mark that is a particular percentile uh, uh, that is a particular percentile suppose 99 percentile or 98 percentile because more student will score those marks. So the important thing is that if you talk subject wise now, then uh, physics was again uh, easy to easy to moderate, but some uh, some student find it a little bit difficult because of the tricky question, particularly from 11th part. But most of the question we are formula based, particularly from modern physics. As I am repeating this statement again and again, and also there was question from uh, question from alternating current and thermodynamics, heat and uh, transfer. So these are the important thing that you need to cover semiconductor as well and now if you talk about the mathematics then again vector 3d matrix determinant there was multiple question but surprisingly there was more question from class 11 as a student have informed me was more question from class 11 part so if your class 11 part is good then you may think about good score in the upcoming attempt and if you talk about the chemistry then again uh, in chemistry there was maximum number of question from inorganic and organic organic we are easy for those student who have uh, the good knowledge about the GOC general organic chemistry otherwise you may find it difficult because there was named reaction and a different type of reaction uh, co reaction based question and in organic there was question from SPDA block of element chemical uh, bonding and then coordination compound so these are the chapter from inorganic and then if you talk about the physical then uh, solid state solution again and uh, the electrochemistry redox reaction surface chemistry so these are the chapter that you need to cover in chemistry here I would like to inform you about the admit card also that is the admit card when it will be released for 29 30 and 1st February student. So up to 27th you all will be getting the admit card or 1st February student may get on 28th of January. So this was the latest so this was the complete analysis. So based on this, I will provide you the marks versus percentile data very soon in the same channel. So please try to subscribe this channel so that you will be getting all the update and information at the right time in the same channel. Thank you.